Today we're in Grants Pass, Oregon at Henderson's lineup with Eugene and Janet Salmon and 1998 Safari Sahara. And Eugene is a do-it-yourselfer and he's installed the Tiger Track kit on there and also a set of Coney shocks. Drove a lot better, but you're still having cons some concerns with it. Well, when we're on the freeway, we're, we're still getting blown off to one side. Uh, but even by pickup trucks and SUVs, I can feel a little bit of sway in there. But that's dips about in it. And the dips in the road, and you know, it's sometimes it's all over the road. So you decided to come down here and have us do the road performance assessment on the coast. Yes. Is yes. that right? You did. Right. And has that proved valuable to us today? Did we uncover what you were looking for? I mean, not what you wanted to hear, but did we find out what was going on with this coach? Yes. Yes, we, I think so. I think that um, the assessment was great in that it, it sort of um, explained why there were issues. It was weight issue, ratio issues, and, um, and what else we could be adding in terms of product to the coach to make the suspension better and make the drivability better. Very good, yeah, we discovered this thing only had a 38% uh, weight ratio when our baseline is 50%. So, and when we ran the numbers on it, we can see that we were about 2,000 pounds too light on the front end. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful motorhome. It's probably one of the shortest diesel pushers you're ever gonna see. This is a 30-foot motorhome. It's got a big cat motor back there. So it's like, I kind of related to driving down the road with on a teeter-totter, <laughs> the front end wanting to come off the ground. So it's causing some really uh, severe instability problems. And when we did the road performance assessment, uh, I noticed that the, you know, the really wanted a porpoise and we had a lot of bouncing and just didn't feel really stable. And I know that the products had to make a great improvement in it, but we have to have good numbers to work with. So Eugene is a capable mechanic and so now he knows what he needs to do. Got some additional products, a quad shock kit, a safety plus steering control, because the other thing we had today was very poor returnability. So if you had to, you had to make a correction, you tended to overcorrect. Wouldn't that be a fair assessment? Yes, it would be, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the importance of an RPA is one of the things we're trying to teach other shop owners to do the job right the first time and do not overpromise and under deliver, under deliver. So yeah, we're trouble. looking we're looking forward to seeing what you're going to put on the front of that thing to uh, help settle it down. But we've done this in the past. We have done it ourselves. Our record is about 900 pounds, about as much much as I remember putting on it, Coach. But it worked out well. It was a 32 foot uh, Beaver, I believe it was Monterey. Yes. Similar Coach family and uh, it definitely helped it a lot. This one here, we're dealing with a little, this is gonna be a little more extreme on this one, but uh, if you can get at least 500 to 1,000 pounds on there, I think it's gonna help it uh, settle it down quite a bit. I'll try and put on as much as I can. To bring it. But we could tell after going on the road that there were issues for safety, so safety is important and uh, we don't want to be in a situation where there's problems. And I like this process because it really assesses it very thoroughly, you know, and it's weighted out and it's it's checked out very thoroughly. So I really appreciate the, um, the amount of work that's gone into checking out the suspension. 